Carajo. Hello my Leo friends, it's Guiding Halo. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be your reading for if the Wheel of Fortune was to spin now, it was to spin now for you and head you into new exciting territory, would you be ready for it? There's got to be some pause or hesitation about moving into the new, maybe. I wonder if the Divine's got a plan that you don't see coming forward yet. Eight of Wands, events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things happening at once. Page of Fire, outgoing, creative, confident, mischievous. News of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. So there's new ideas about how to build and create that are coming in for you. Tell me about this good news, please. Events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things happening at once. Ace of Cups, new love, new life, new you, new home, new job, new, new, new. It's being given to you because of the work you've done emotionally. Walking away from something. Eights, you have good financial manifestation right now. You want to walk away from the confusion and the illusion. There's some sort of fear surrounding finances if you accept a new opportunity or have a new home or move out or I don't know, whatever. Fear of finances. There is a gift of time, money, or effort coming. I think you want to walk away from something, but you're wondering if you should give it more time. There's fears about not having enough money. Ending the cycle. Well, it's going to end, I'm telling you what. If the Wheel of Fortune wants to spin now for you, there'd be very good news about ending a cycle, graduation day, into the next thing. There's that Eight of Wands again, repeating cards coming in. And the Page of Wands, yeah, I read that. All right. Good news coming from a distance. Might be like 80 kilometers away, 8 kilometers away. Wherever you are when you're listening to this reading, what's 8 kilometers away from you or 80 kilometers away from you? Healing. Good news that comes in and brings healing. You're tired, you need a vacation, you need time to rest. There's that good news coming in again. You may have news coming from different sources. And you're not sure which one to go for. But you need to rest. Ask the Divine for clarity on it. This is something coming back around that you do not want. Fours are about building a solid foundation. Four corners of a home. Perhaps someone's building a home. Someone very well may make you an offer, but you view it as too controlling. It is good news, but there's many ways to go about it. And I think you may end up in thinking about it after some time, choose not to. This is boss, judge, CEO. Someone could be going back to work. Patriarch of the family, grandfather, energy. Queen of Cups, crossing it is being emotional. It's a... Uh, Important psychic insights. So your intuition needs to be on fleek right now, but I think there's some emotional stuff going on getting in the way of that. Getting in the way of your intuition. Sometimes you breathe one moment of the day at a time. Ending. Yeah, it's about putting an end to something. Transformation. Good news coming in about that, though. So if the Wheel of Fortune was to spin now for you, I think it would take you out of a toxic cycle you've been in, and it'd be very good news. It'd be hard to take, however. It would absolutely create transformation in your life. I think what you're manifesting without even knowing it is the help of others. It's going to be hard. It would, if it spun right now, it would be really hard. 
there's something good coming in. It's really good news. It's going to take away your fear of finances. It's going to take away everything and actually help you graduate to the new phase of your life. Pluto in your chart may have something to do with that. We're heading into a new 20-year Pluto cycle. Very well could be the death of an older family member, which brings financial security. Let's get some clarity on these things. Could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. All right, let's get some clarity on the death card. Karma, divine calling someone home. Man, this is a major ending. Whatever this is about, major. Romanticizing the past, walking away from childhood ideas. There's some soul lesson here that's coming to an end. You learned the lesson. You're walking away from childish ideas about it. It's going to be hard to do. It's going to feel like a death, whether it is or not. Tell me about the Four of Swords, please. There's a pause and a wait on something. Something someone would call a victory, you do not. You feel like you're not ready. for. If the Wheel of Fortune was to spin now... Yeah, your emotions wouldn't be ready for it. Someone being single, wanting to build things on their own. Having the financial stability and support they need. Tell me about the Emperor. Good news. Child. Something about a child. Boss, judge, CEO. More good news coming in. You have the Page of Wands three times all in this area. So, three children, good news about children, good news coming from an emperor, good news headed toward the emperor. There's a lot of good communication here. Temporary pause in action, seeds well planted, unnecessary worry. You're looking at how to build your finances in a way that will manifest something. It's going to be painful for you to walk away from whatever this is. There's the Emperor again. There's definitely good news coming in. Things are going to start to move incredibly fast for you. I think you might have one, two, three, three male figures that want to take control of a situation. And everybody has their ingenious idea about how to move forward with it. It could be the ending and it's a karmic decision or something due to a soulmate. What is this Queen of Cups about, please? Tell me about the Queen of Cups and why are you on sideways with your emotions? Two of Cups. This is a united partnership, kindred spirit. You've met a kindred spirit or someone that can help. Feeling defensive about the situation. You've built so much. Don't give up. I don't think you want to give up because there's still love here. What is this Eight of Cups about? third party you, you don't want the third there's there's third party interference here in whatever this is and there's important psychic insights coming in you really need to tap into your intuition what is the five of pentacles about someone's going to tell you that there will never be a third party ever again and i don't think you're going to believe them king of cups cancer pisces scorpio all up in your emotions about it, trying to find balance. So this is, it is a good match. But the problem here remains is, it's almost like one person would be great by themselves and the other person wouldn't. I think you're trying to decide what to do as to whether to give up or move forward. It's a cups, an apology. So we have two cups here. Two cups here, two people meeting on similar ground, coming together, not wanting to give up. But then we have a huge cup 
with this childish behavior. It's like childish behavior coming in to cause friction. Perhaps someone wants to propose something. It's there's there, there's communication coming that will bless any heart, but someone will be walking away from the situation circumstance. Walking away from the confusion, that's for sure. And it will end a cycle. Well, you'll face the graduation day, see? Not seeing the positive in this situation. The last thing you want and have to do is to rely on somebody for money, time, or effort when you're trying to get away from that somebody or stand on your own two feet. King of Swords. Ooh, someone is P.O.'d. Someone is P.O.'d end of a cycle this is Aquarius Libra Gemini could be all of the above they are too they're they're too much in their head there's too much logic there's they're using their knowledge and logic to berate you or to to turn the situation for themselves and they are PO'd this could be a lawyer, and there could be two judges, officials going at things. It could be court as well. I'm going to pull another card on this emperor here, please. What about this emperor? Oh, he doesn't want things to end. Oh, he's willing to do anything to stop it from ending. And when it does end, it's going to be a battle of epic proportions. And I think that's what you fear. You fear the battle. It's like you, I know this guy. He's going to be like, oh my God. All right, my Leos, let's see what message the divine has for you. So I think the wheel of fortune not spinning right now actually helps you figure things out, gives you, buys you a little bit of time. 47, sacred reverence. This is a beautiful card. I love the card. It's a new portal of energy opening. It's an 11. Portal of energy opening into the new. You're definitely almost at the end of a cycle. Looking at the world, do you see all of life or only a limited part? When you look at a blade of grass, do you see just a plant? When you encounter a puppy, do you see just an animal? While this categorizing is one of the view, one of viewing the world, it is only a fraction of the truth. It isn't enough. Look closer and you'll observe the luminosity imminent in these living sentient beings. If you can allow yourself to take in all the world, including its spirit, then you see the whole. Reverence is an act of deep witnessing, respect and awe. You experience it when you perceive every being and everything, every plant, rock and tree as sacred and alive. You naturally lean into a state of bliss and harmony and a profound sense of well-being. Whatever your dilemma or question, try to reframe your perspective to acknowledge the spiritual. If everything has value, including your most frustrating challenges, would you still ask your question from the same place? Can you regard the other as sacred, thereby erasing the separation between you? Embracing the perfection of how you came together is real magic, and you are tapping into this unity right now no matter who or what is in front of you see that person or thing as luminous and your interaction as holy then you will know what to do for the highest good of all this may resonate for somebody who has venus in leo hmm interesting i hope this resonates i love you guys i'll talk to you again soon